Welcome to Monday's World of Weather. You clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast Discussion for May 11th to the 23rd. May 11th to the 15th, the, mat the pattern remains unchanged. And we're here having, let me hold on. We're having, uh, still have a trough here in the east, trough in the, uh, trough in the east, trough in the west, ridge in between, large positive height anomalies here. Um, over Canada, south near Greenland, and this is indicative of a negative NAO. Now, the, uh, as we go through each day, here we are at the 11th, and we come to the 15th, we don't see much of a change. And then we look at the rest of the models, they're in pretty good agreement. Below normal temperatures are forecast for the Northwest, the Great Lakes, and the Northeast. Heavy precipitations forecast for the Southern Plains, the Atlantic Coast, and spreading northeastward by early next week, also across the Northwest and the Northern Rockies. <clears throat> and a peak at uh, the June forecast for the European weeklies and monthlies is still showing cool in the Northeast. We'll see how that pans out. Uh, May 11th to the 18th. May 14th to the 18th, that is. Here we are at the 15th. We still have positive height anomalies near Greenland. And this is well gradually diminish as we go through the period. This is the GFS, and we go through the days. You see that um, they kind of diminish here, being replaced by below normal heights. And we go through the rest of the models are showing the same thing, but overall still expecting expecting a trough here in the west and the east and a ridge in between. <clears throat> the models are in good agreement with this. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting below normal temperatures here and here. And I'm forecasting anomalies to be about four degrees below normal. Above normal temperatures are forecast for the plains and the Mississippi Valley. And I'm forecasting anomalies of six degrees above normal for precipitation calling for above normal precipitation for Northern California, the Northwest and Northern Rockies. Below normal precipitation is forecast for the Central and Southern Mississippi Valley and to the Tennessee Valley. The period for um, May 19th to 23rd, models are, are showing differences here. Here we are at the 19th. <clears throat> this is a GFS. And this still has a trough trough here, trough in the west, trough in the east, ridge in between, but as these ridges kind of like retrogress westward, replaced by below normal heights. Now as we go through the period, and we come to the 23rd, we see that, but then we see the GF, GEF, um, excuse me, the other models such as the GEFS depict a weaker trough, as you can see right here, and then we have the European ensembles. They have a ridge in the west, a ridge in the east, that is, as the um, trough lifts out, you can see here to the east, and we have a trough in the west. And then we look at the Canadian, has the as compared to the GFS ensembles, has a weaker trough in the east. And the um, GE, the GFS super anomalies are also has a less um, has a lesser um, amplified pattern compared to the to the um, to the GEFS and the Canadian. It's more like in that line. So during this forecast period, forecasting below normal temperatures here with the numbers of four to six degrees below normal above normal temperatures for this region here and this is taking account for a weaker trough in this area i'm forecasting anomalies to be about four to eight degrees above normal for precipitation 
calling for above normal precipitation for the northwest, northern, and central Rockies. Below normal precipitation is forecast for the southeast. So that's the long range weather forecast discussion for May 11th to the 23rd. Thanks for coming to Jim Mundley's World of Weather and have a good day.